What's up, y'all? This Aunt Glizzy, and it's Bob and Son TV. And today we're gonna do something different. We got the Money Bag Owl story, but we're gonna mix the Money Bag Owl story with Money Bag Owl. He bid of the week at the same time, so I'm gonna go into him being bid of the week and how I met Al and how we got to the day. Y'all can go ahead and get your popcorn ready, whatever y'all gotta do, get it together. Everybody like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 100K subscribers. Let's go, let's turn up. Let's make these videos longer, man. Oh, I'm feeling like a YouTuber now. I want to shout out to YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. I thank y'all. Y'all really changed my life. I come from the streets. Y'all have really changed my life. I like to whoever owns YouTube. I truly give a shout out to y'all. You feel me? Well, back to this. Let's go. So, Money Bag Al. His name is Money Bag Al. He don't have a money bag nowhere. He like scam likely. He might be like scammer of the decade. But let's get into that a little bit last. So, Al, real name Dialto. I know the real him Dialto is my friend. We used to hang out together. So I seen a picture of him on the internet. Uh, a LGBTQ guy posted a picture of him doing some type of act. I don't know what it was on Instagram Live. It wasn't, and it looked like it was inappropriate. It was something, him and another person laughing, and it was just inappropriate. And I spoke on that. I made it to bed, then Al came and hit the live. And I was telling Al about the situation, and we was talking about it. And he was saying, I'm trying to bid. I'm just like, bro, he ain't supposed to be on FaceTime with you regardless of which way it go. He ain't supposed to be on FaceTime with you. If your girlfriend put him on FaceTime, if you put him on FaceTime, it's like a virtual threesome. It's like, what's the difference between him on the bed and him watching the FaceTime? He's still there. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, i never seen it before. It's like an NFT threesome. But we don't got to get into all that. So I made him the bed of the week. He come want to argue his case and all that. But I didn't even know who the girl that he was in the video with, I didn't even know who it was. They told me it was Pretty Riz. They were saying in the comments, but I know Pretty Riz. I used to talk to her back in the day. That's my old gym. Like, she, she an ex-stripper. She's, she's not no, let's just say she's not nobody's girlfriend. Like, we're going to leave Pretty Riz alone for the moment. Nobody Pretty Red's boyfriend. Nobody dating Pretty Red's. Like, you must, to date Pretty Red's, you must, like, you got to be depressed, down and out. You just need, I don't even know. I don't even get into all that. So, me and I'll get into it. Not get into it. We just had conversations. Like, Lord, heated wars. He know he can't pop no <laughs> me ever. I own him. So, now he come on the live trying to defend himself, saying, nah, because I do business with such and such, bro. I don't trip off no LGBT community members. I don't got no problem with that. You can do business with him, but he should not be on FaceTime while you performing any type of activities in that way. Like, that's wrong, no matter what you say. So, then I hear Pretty Red's voice out the background. Because they were saying it was Pretty Red's, but I didn't know it was Pretty Red's. The comments were saying it was Pretty Red's. I didn't know. I didn't know the backstory of who posted or anything. I just seen the guy who posted it and it had Owl in it. I didn't even know she was in it. I didn't say her name. So now I hear in the background, but you did this to me and you did that to me. I was saying to myself, like, girl, I ain't never cut that butt butt. I ain't never ate that butt butt. No, no, you ain't gonna put that one on me. I ain't gonna lie. I hit the gym a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? We had a little thing, did a little thing, but nah, it ain't that. Like, keep it 100, bro. I swear. Pretty Red's been in my house 200 times. I've been in her house 200 times. Out of the 400 times we ever seen each other, out of the 1,000 times we had relationships, out of the 20 years I knew her, I can't name one thing I ever bought her. Like, I'm petty. I'm sorry. Like, I'm a scum. Let's get into that. We're going to mix the Pretty Red stories with this, too. So, look, I meet Pretty Red's. GQ, my best friend, GQ, like, man, the little, the little Joan Red, Joan Scribber, pr uh, Pretty Red's. She working bads and crew. Man, I just had her out here. I'm like, man, you wellin', you wellin'. He's like, man, yeah, she's sweet, such and such. Ooh. So, you know me, I slide in the DMs right behind him. I got her outside the next day. I'm like, mm. So, we, now we back to back. Now we talking about it. He don't know I sneaky fell in love. Like, I wasn't letting her go. I was going to ride this roller coaster until I ain't had no more tickets. <laughs> I'm just here to tell you. I was going to give all my tickets to this roller coaster. I was on to something. She was like, this is when she creating herself. This is before the BBL, before the, just before she building the Barbie body. This was like, she still got bodies, but she ain't got that body that she got. She got bodies in the street. Like, I'm telling you, she can open up her own cemetery. So, she come around. We, we like, we ain't dating, but this is my junk. I still got other junks. This is my little junk, my little stripper junk. She come right here and there. All right, boom. So, she used to come on my house every night. She like bad woman. Like, she like the perfect girl. It's like the perfect setup. It's like, she never there when you wake up. Like, she gone. Like, 
her, she like a daycare center. You just drop your kids off and go. I call her the daycare center. She got a taxi driver. She had this personal taxi driver. I don't know him. Like she had this personal number. Like as soon as she get off work, I know what time she gonna be there. She gonna be there. She gonna come. And when I wake up, she ain't gonna be there. But she gonna be coming back. The time I come in the house, like perfect timing. Like vampire on it. She on a vicious schedule. I love it. But let me tell you, I told you I was crummy. I was broke. This was before I was an Aunt Lizzie. I was a bummy. Like Bob had a three bedroom on the Tenny Lab, like Tenny Lab building. By the gods. My middle room was my room. Everybody knows this room. It had a wooden floor. Shock Glizzy was created in this room. I swear to God, we recreated Glizzy Gang on the bottom of my bed in this room. This bed is epic. It's a little twin bed. You ever seen it? It's like a twin bed. It's really a twin bed. I was still this height. It's a twin bed. It's in the corner. No sheet on it, no nothing. I'm talking about every girl in the city back and touch that bed. If you think I'm lying, you think I'm lying. I ain't here to tell you. I ain't even here to put that out there. I'm just going to keep my secret to myself. But I'm telling you, if you made that twin bed, man, I'm telling you, you feel like Lil Zane right now. Just me and my. Tw- nah, what's that? Uh, Call right. Just me and my twin in them. <laughs> It's me and my twin in them. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you ain't got any twins. Huh? That's what I'm going to say. Huh? I had them a good <laughs> They're like, huh? <laughs> but it's cool, though. Girl, she good. Nah, that was the days. But, yeah, little bed, little AC in there. All this room had. Let me picture, picture, picture this room. This room, like, it's just a room. It's just a little room. It's a little room. Twin bed in the corner. A closet. The closet got a double door and a window and an air conditioner. Nothing else in there. It's like a prison, a prison cell. It's literally a prison cell. Like, I go Chris Brown, I go wall to wall, this because wall to wall. I ain't ashamed of it. I grew up in the Anglis. He was born in that dungeon. That joint like Manami me of Matilda. Like, to the chokey. Every time I go to bed, I feel like I'm going to the chokey. I'm just here to tell you, but yeah, I ain't never bought her nothing. Never bought her a McDonald's sandwich. I never got her, got the remote for her. I never did nothing for her. Like, nothing. I don't, like, I never got her a glass of water. Like, I never went and hooked up a hot pocket. I never gave her none of my chips. Like, I never gave her nothing but dinosaurs. That's it. Gay, they kiss and drop the kids off and we keep it on moving. But look though, so Al tend to save her. So now I'm pretty red the girl then we're pretty red talking now. She going off talking about all these allegations from back in the day. I had you 100 times to keep it real one out. I'm in a relationship. I can't tell you the last time I t- the last time I had you because that's gonna be cheap. <laughs> but if you know, you know. But back to Al. Let's get back to Al. So this is the Al story. Me and Al used to hang out, right? We used to kick it back in the day. Like this is my homeboy, like. We hang out. That's my little man. Literally, little man put the little one. His name, my son. So he got this girl named Monique. Monique is my old ex-girlfriend of five years, but I met her from Al. Al came around my neighborhood one day. Like, I'm about to pull up on you. I got this joint with me. I'm about to, about to pull up. I'm about to pull up right there. So he pulled up on me, had her with him. But Al probably stepped off, and when he did something, she still was right there with me. And I was like, man, you date, you know me, salty, wild friend. I know I'm wrong. We was kids. I don't know. I got to tell you. I saw them now. Yes, I did. I put salt on his fries. You can put this salt in uh, some snow, and it'll melt. I'm like, man, you dating this nigga. He outside with me. Like, if I can tell him roll out, he ain't going to do that shit. So I saw, she gave me her number. Boom, I get her number. She go out. I'm texting her why she went out in the hotel. Al texts me back from her phone like, damn, you got her number? Y'all weird. I just hit her anyway. Or something weird like that. I don't know. Like, something trying to flex on me. That didn't stop me. I told you that became my girlfriend for five years. So, I don't know what Al did or something. But she seen how I was sunning him. Like, that's my little son. So, so she ended up, I ended up getting her, like, she ended up coming to see me. We ended up becoming girlfriend and boyfriend. That was my girl. I was, like, real life on her. Like, I wanted her so bad. Like, she was the greatest girlfriend ever. She still is, like, the greatest girl ever. I'm going to get into all that. So, it's like. I took her from her. Now, this is my girlfriend for five years. Owl out the picture. So, me and her, I, me and her, after five years, I'm so much of a dog. I done did so much bad to her. I'm talking about a dog, throughout, treated her wrong. Like, this is the best girlfriend I ever had in my life. This is the girl that ever treated me like, this is the perfect girl. Have you ever learn when you treat the perfect girl wrong and you got paid for it in life? This is what I'm paying for. Like, this is my karma. Anything that happens to me in life from a girl is my karma of what I did to her. Like, she was perfect. So, long story short, we end up stop going. We end up breaking up because she couldn't deal with what all that was coming with me. It was like too much, and I didn't really have no money at the time. I wasn't Aunt Lizzie. I wasn't who I am today. I ain't really had no money. I ain't really had no house. I was standing at Bob's house. I ain't really, you know, how I had to go. Like it was this girlfriend. She really loved me. It's like she wasn't there because of things I was giving her. She was there genuinely out of love. But you can't see that when you're stuck in the streets and you're a kid. So end up. We end up being single. I started getting another. I started talking to a girl. I right. in the midst of our five years relationships, I end up getting another girl. Named Raven, and Raven end up being my girlfriend in the midst of me and Monique breaking up. So now I'm talking to Raven, but when that 
It was like a couple months, then I get back with Monique, but it's like, we've been together for five years. That was just like a temporary break, me just faking on her or something. But in the midst of me doing that, Ow, every girl I talk to, ow, what? I don't get, I, I did it at the owl. Every girl I ever talked to from this day, owl in their DMs. Like, I could talk to a girl right now. I know owl gonna be in her DMs. Like, I, I, I don't even know how you find them. I don't even follow these girls like they pictures or nothing. He's just like the goat. Like, he be in my brain. Like, I think we share brains. So, now the girl Raven ain't my girlfriend no more. I'm back with Monique. So, now owl going with Raven. That's his girlfriend. He don't even know her, man. I met this girl in Merle Eastern Shore at a... Jack Lizzy concert. He don't know this girl. This girl's down Southwest Washington, D.C. right now. Well, Al, like on some Aunt Lizzy hate club. Like, they both hate me, but that ain't nothing. I told you I used to hang with Al back in the day. Back in the day, me and Al used to hang with each other. So, me and Al used to hang with each other. Al used to be on some scam like back in the day on some bus and check. So, boom, me, Al, and Al introduced me to this nigga named Gus. Gus was a Howard University student. He went to Howard. He used to bust, he, he showed, he showed, he was showing us the way of busting the little scams that we was busting. Like, I ain't never know how to do it. We was, up. We was never getting it right. But long story short, Al and Vince, his name, matter of fact, his name was Vince. Al and Vince went to Howard. Al and Vince end up getting locked up. Vince called me and said, yeah, Al got, man, Al got locked up. Al, hot. They said Al telling on me. That's how we got back. So... Now, him and Al locked up. I ain't talked to Al yet. I told you we all friends. I met him through Al, but we all friends. We doing business. We been around each other for like a year and a half now. Like, we all know each other. We mutual. So, like, so now, Vince called me and was like, Al telling on me such such. So now, Vince called me back saying, yeah, this months later. Vince called me back probably, probably almost a year later. I, Vince ended up hit calling me again. Like, yeah, Al, hi, Al got me some time, such and such. Well, he called me from a jail phone, through a jail phone. But Al was on, Al was already home. Like, Al was home. Like, Al was already home. And I had seen Al, and I was asking what's up with the And he was like, man, Vince got to go to trial. Something, he spent me. But long story short, Vince told me it's hot. I told Al, man, yeah, Vince said you was hot. You told him something. He said something. He said something. I don't know what he said. He said something like, man, I ain't never told him, man. He just got his time, and he mad because I beat it. I never seen Al again since that day. Like, Al just took off. Like, man, Al never got into it. We was never not friend nothing. Al just never seen Al again. I asked Al, was he hot? I never seen him again. Al, hot. Al know he hot. I know he hot. Vince know he hot. We all know he hot. This is like some scamming hot, so it ain't really nothing. It's like he told them some scammers at Howard University. Like, no one's going to care about that. He knew that already. But... And he owed me $20. This is another girl we had, this little Chinese joint. In the midst of us breaking down the scams, doing the scams and joint, I had this little Chinese joint. I called her Sue, Sue Young. This is my little joint. She from nowhere. I'm talking about, I don't even know where she from to this day. My little Chinese joint. She got a band. She got she got a bust down road. She just lit. She drive me around to do all my earns. But I got a girlfriend now, and I can't really be with her doing all the earns. I ain't really on the scam, and that ain't really for me. That ain't my lane. I left it alone. I'll end up hanging with her. Now it's her owl busting moves. That's his Joan all that. But I don't even care. It's like, I was still trying to get me back from this Monique situation. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. So now it's the Chinese Joan. It's Raven and Monique. That ain't nothing. We ain't going to stop there. Now, I talk to this other girl. Owl in her DMs. He don't, I never liked her picture. Never posted her. Never nothing. I don't even know how you know I talk to her. It's like now when I get a girl, I be like, this is going to be this guy named Owl going to DM you. You're not going to understand it right now. Just when it happened, just be like, how, you just, this is going to happen. But this is how he getting them. He a vicious scammer. Like he scamming these girls all day life. Like he going to get a $20 band. Get them some food where they go get another twenty dollar band. Get them some shoes where they get them enough kids to keep buying numbers until some click. Get them a shirt. Some click. Y'all know what the juice is, the sauce, whatever that is. I ain't even into that. I can't even spell to even be. You know what I'm saying? It was too much thinking. But and he go to jail every year or two for a scam. Like he crummy. Like so crummy. Like this is how crummy he is at his baby shower. Inside man told me this at his baby shower. He backdoored his man. Like his right hand man. He got his role, he took him from his, like, his right-hand man, his other man, he let his other man take his right-hand man, roly off his wrist, rob him at his baby shower, at the cake, like, at the birthday cake, like, happy birthday, was cutting the cake, was, get him. and he robbed him right there, like, at the, like, in front of everybody, like, somebody got robbed at your baby shower, bro, it was a setup, but, alright, we're gonna leave that one alone, 
but he just crummy. He scamming these girls out their life. So now I hear Pretty Reds talking in the background. Now I'm putting it together like, damn, you know I just date Pretty Reds too. So like, that's another girl. It's like, it's just crazy. It's like, he just got the curse. So now I'm just sitting back. I hear her talking. I'm like, okay, cool. So he date Pretty Reds. It's like, damn, you date Pretty Reds. You rely on that. You just a scammer. Like, why is you with her? Even she don't got nowhere to live. And you got CPN jump that you trying to hold her down. I know your baby mother. I know her personally. I told you that's my ex-girlfriend of five years. She loved me more than you. She just can't tell you that because what I did to her in the past, like I was a bad person. Like I understand it. Like she ain't supposed to like me. But what I'm here to tell you is that fake lifestyle you fake live, bro, you got three Cuban chains on live and you couldn't name one jeweler. You got a plain Jane Patek Philippe. You got that joint from DH Gate, bro. You got $250,000 worth of jewelry on. And you date pretty red. She got OnlyFans. She don't got a car. And she in your house. Like, make it make sense, bro. This is about to be. This y'all like the. Y'all the big couple of the year. Like, first of all, you need a biohazard sign to even date that girl, man. You around his passing around the bird flu. But, yeah, that's the owl story, y'all. I've been to him, like. It's a little bit more than that. I can give him a part two, but I think I touched all the bases. Al, you hot. You know I know you hot. It ain't nothing against you, though, man. Do your thing. All I'm telling you is, girls, don't think he got no money. This man ain't got no money. This man is one of the crummiest scamming guys ever. I ain't even mad at you. I'll just get my $20 that you bought when I drop you off up your mother, Joe, and you ain't there to get back. And we can call it even. Don't talk about no money to me because I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I got the racks for real. I got 10000 for you. I got 10000 for Pretty Reds, and I got 10000 for your baby mother. If you think I'm capping, I'll take this mic off and show you I ain't capping. Matter of fact, hold on. Man, don't stop the camera. We believe this shit wrong. This ain't no cap in my racks, you hear me? What's up, y'all? This is Ann and this is Barbasun TV. And today we got the Pretty Red story. Pretty Red 202, aka Queen of the DMV. Huh. All right. So, all right, before she got all this modifications and before she came as a ghetto princess and before she came the Queen of the DMV, she was the Queen of Barbara's house on this twin bed. So, I met her like back in the day, like years ago. I probably knew her like I probably knew her like 10, 15 years. So I went to stadium nightclub. Like I got my SSI check. I was a young nigga. Like I got my disability check. Like I told y'all I used to get a check back in the day <clears throat> for being a little bit off. So I had some back pay. They gave me like 20K. So I went to the strip club. I took Pretty Reds with me. She became my little Joan. Like she was like my third Joan. She was like third on the list. I had like three in rotation. I was like the Migos. So, we used to kick it and all that. So, she became a stripper. So, she started getting her little stripper money. Long story short, we've been talking for years. Fast forward about five, ten years. And I know her five, ten years on and off. She go away for years, come away for years. We just catch up, link, start back talking for two weeks. Just on and off. Like, not really no relationship. Just a... She a daycare center. I just dropped the kids off. And, um... So, it's like... One day, all right... I ain't never bought her nothing. I'm petty. I was broke. I didn't have nothing. I was crummy. I told you I had $20,000. I went to the strip club. That was like years after me met her. When I met her, I ain't really had nothing. That $20,000 was ran through years later. I probably had a couple dollars. Like, when I was talking to her, like, the time that I did this, this story, why, well, long story short, she, I robbed her. In this story, I robbed her. Like, I ain't gonna say I robbed her. I took something from her. It was a robbery, if that's what you call it. But, like, I don't know. She said I robbed her. I did. She know I did. Sorry, I apologize, man. What's your cash out about this? Pretty rich, drop your cash app in the, uh, in the comments. I'm going to get it back. Because after this story, I know I'm going to get it back. Crummy. Everybody subscribe to the channel. Everybody click the link. Make sure y'all subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100K subscribers. Let's go. Y'all keep watching. Everybody subscribe. Stop right now and subscribe. So, now, all right, boom. Years later, I'm in her house one day. 
I ain't got no, I probably got like $400. But I don't know, she's just so irritated. She make $1,000 every day. She ain't tripping. She got her body done, all that. She done up. It's like me, her, Journey, and Mikey B, we like double dating. We all hanging around each other. Me and my man, we friends at the time. And they both friends, so we did each other on the same time. Like, I might take pretty res out, or he might take Journey out, but I ain't spending no money. They strip us, they buying all this, all this sponsored by them. We crumb niggas trying to think of a way of some crumb. I'm on a crumathon. So, I'm over her house one day, I'm in there sleep. I see a thousand dollars on the dress on my fingers. Like, it's, this is my crummy day, y'all. I told you I was broke. This was my little twin bed in the room. And, and it used to be crummy back in the day. I had some crummy ways back in the day. So my finger was itching. So my, my hand was telling me, yeah, but my mind was telling me no. So my hand, like, and my mind, like, so now this is rock this going on. I'm looking like I'm looking like a uh, a wrecking ball. I don't know what to do. So now I just chill. I calm down, humble myself. So she go get in the shower. I'm like, yeah, Briz, I'm gone. She like, all right, lock the door. I'm like, cool. As I'm going out, I told you, my mind was focused on the door. I took my mind off telling me no, and I start focusing on going out the door and preparing myself out the door. My arm just did something. It just swooped past the money, and I looked. The money was in my hand. I walked out the door and I was gone. As I'm leaving. She ringing the phone like. Yeah, uh, so you seen some money you stole, you did. I ain't did nothing. Put her on the block list. I ain't seen her. So now she telling the whole world to hurry by running around saying I did this and all that. Long story short, years later, I probably don't don't feel bad about this, y'all. This is pretty rich. We talking about she's a head. She deserved that, y'all. She was getting on my nerves. Like, I don't even know why I did it. I just did it because it's pretty rich. It wasn't even like, she called it a robbery. It wasn't robbery. It was just stealing from Bay. She wouldn't have made that $1,000 back, but she had the only fan booming. First of all, she had the only fan booming. I went through her phone the other day. I seen she was texting like 10 other uh, dudes. She had them on payroll like Wednesday, Murray, uh, her notes for uh, four o'clock for Wegos. She got just a whole sex kit. So it's like, once I found the menu, it's like, man, I'm over here. I'm falling in love. I ain't gonna lie, I was falling in love. You ever had your first little red jump? You just fall in love with a BBL or some titties? Man, I'm telling you, I thought I had Amber Rose. Whole time I had Amber Code as a gunner. I don't know what's going on. So long story short, the, the room would get out that I robbed her, so she been running with this for years. We end up kind of rekindling the flame. I probably didn't seen her 200 times after that. I probably been over her house 50 times after that. We had already chalked that up and got that out of the way. But it's more so, this the moral of the story is, she didn't date it. More rappers than rappers. I can't even say these rappers' names. They'll copyright this video if I say their names. That's how bad. I'm talking about every rapper, every boxer, every street guy, everybody with money. Anybody in this city... That get money like the first guy. The first times I get money is dating pretty rich. Like you ain't get money until you got pretty rich beside you. Like Fat Trill, Shy Glizzy, Ed Glizzy, everybody. I can't even say the other than the rap game because like throwing people under the bus. I don't really care about Trill and Shy. They ain't no nothing. Trill still around here with that fake Louis. I ain't seen it. And Shy, I ain't seen his sideburns since the fight. <laughs> she even had Javante. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm talking about the fight. It ain't. It ain't a sport. She even had AB. Golly, I don't even want to keep going. We're going to leave that alone. But I'm saying, like, she called herself the queen of the DMV. Pretty Red. I ain't even going to do you like that. This is the Pretty Red story. Yeah, I'm sorry that I took your. Nah, it's another part to it. I forgot to tell y'all. This is what I forgot to tell y'all. I'll try to leave this part out because it's the crap ever. I had my goofy man with me. My man pulled up and gave me a ride. And as I was coming out, somehow, all right, as I was coming out, I probably was taking too long because I was looking for some more to take. He met me at the door. I ain't gonna say his name and incriminate him. He met me at the door. And as I was leaving out with the money, you know what he did? We pulling off. She like, yeah, man, you got the money. Man, where my dog at? Some, some, I don't see the dog. I'm like, the dog? What dog? Like, the dog went out. So now they care about the dog more than money. Do you not know my man didn't put the dog in the back of the truck? He like, oh, the dog in the back of the truck? He took her dog. That's what was crazy. He took the dog, like, the puppy. So now we on the run for a puppy. Now puppy police is looking for us. Mom Dukes is involved now. Little sister involved. Everybody. Talking about the sister puppy. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Pretty rich. Just send me a cash out, man. That was back in the day. That was when I was crummy and bummy. But I apologize. I ain't even that guy. I don't know what I did. Like, I don't even know why I did that. I don't even know. But, like, I told y'all I'm just here on YouTube to confess my sins. I'm sorry. I'm a YouTuber. Y'all subscribe to the channel. We lit. Pretty rich. I wouldn't touch you with another man's pole.